welcome to Latter Pets Language Tutorial number 5, Forming Questions. So let's jump straight into it. Let's revisit statements. Uh, you'll be pretty familiar with this one now. balum kuma. The boy sees the mountain. Um, and then you've got a expression involving a verb of motion. Picha niyo suna kum. The man goes to the tree. So let's begin our foray in questions with yes-no questions. To change a statement to a yes-no question in Latrapeth, place either kayas, payas, or sias at the end of the equivalent statement. There is a distinction between them, um, so we'll give some examples here to illustrate this. We'll begin with kayas. Um, so here again the statement for comparison, pita yikayis balum kuma, the boy sees the mountain. Now I'm going to stick kayas at the end to form a question, pita yikayis balum kuma kayas. And that has changed it into a yes no question, which uh, would be translated as does the boy see the mountain? Now the second one, payas. Again, the statement, pita yikayis balum kuma, the boy sees the mountain. Equivalent question, I'm going to stick payas on the end this time, and I'm going to get pita yikayis balum kuma payas. This could be translated as, again, does the boy see the mountain? It's a yes-no question. Um, but uh, basically, when you're using payas, uh, you're, sus you're suspecting that the boy does see the mountain. So it's better translated as something like, the boy sees the mountain, doesn't he? And the third one, see us. Again, the statement, pita yikayis balum kuma, the boy sees the mountain. Let's this time stick see us on the end. Uh, pita yikayis balum kuma see us. Again, you could translate this as, does the boy see the mountain? Uh, but when you say, see us, you suspect the boy doesn't see the mountain. So it's better translated into English as something like, the boy doesn't see the mountain, does he? Now, before we uh, move on to some different kinds of questions, uh, let's have a look at uh, the lofty statement for this lesson. To change a statement to a question, place the relevant question phrase at the end of the equivalent statement, omitting where applicable information that the question is seeking to uncover. That's a bit of a mouthful. It'll make a lot more sense as we move into it. Let's look at some question terms in isolation. Uh, the first thing you might notice is that the terms in Latrapeth um, are often more than one word, where in English they'd be one word. They usually begin with uh, kaya, and kaya is often truncated to one syllable in spoken Latrapeth and comes out as kai. So, when, kai baho, who, kai wohum. So, what thing, kayemtum or kayemtum. What event? Kai nio. Why? Um, kai nia bewa. So that's three words in Latrapeth. Um, kai feu, meaning how in terms of manner. Kai nia force, meaning how in terms of the means by which something was done. Um, so where kai boa, where to kai nia boa, where from kai lumboa. So let's start looking at some examples. Um, who or what? So let's again begin with the statement, Pita yikayis balum kuma, the boy sees the mountain. I want to say who sees the mountain. Now in the lofty statement I said, you, you know, emitting the information that the question is seeking to uncover. Um, of course, in my question, uh, my who question, of course I'm not going to mention balum, the boy, because that's what I don't know. I want to know who sees the mountain. Um, and then I'm going to stick at the, just, I'm simply going to stick at the end of it, um, the term meaning who, which is kaya wohum. And I'm going to say pita yikayis kuma kaya wohum, who sees the mountain. Now I want to say, what does the boy see? So I know it's a boy, but I don't know what he sees. So the information about mountain, kuma, is not going to appear in the question. Um, and at the end of the question, I'm going to have the term for what, uh, kaya yemtum, kaya yemtum. And I'm going to say, Pita yikayis balum kayem tum. What does the boy see? Let's have a closer look at this distinction between uh, kayem tum and kaineo with what. Um, I said kayem tum we use when we're talking about what thing, you know, something material. Um, kaineo we use more when we're talking in terms of a process or an event. So we've already seen the sentence of the question, uh, Pita yikayis balum kayem tum, or kayem tum. 
what does the boy see? If I wanted to say what is the boy doing, um, obviously the verb's going to be different. P for four C E S because when you're doing something, um, it's really a process, not so much a th a, a, a th an actual thing. Um, I'm going to use instead of kaiemtum kainio, and I'm just going to say P for four C E S balum kainio. What is the boy doing? When, why, and how? Um, so. Here's another statement, Peter ni alumni snakum, the man left. Nice, simple uh, sentence, but I want to know when the man left. So I'm going to stick at the end of it, uh, the term meaning when, which is kayabaho. Peter ni alumni snakum kayabaho, when did the man leave? I'm going to stick the term for why at the end, kayaniya pewa. And I'm going to say, Peter ni alumni snakum kayaniya pewa, why did the man leave? Now let's have a closer look at how. Um, so we mentioned a distinction in Latropeth with respect to the concept of how. Um, kaya feyu, and when you're talking about how in terms of manner, kaya niya force, when you're talking about how in terms of means. Let's exemplify this with two questions, each one using a separate term. Um, these are again based on the statement, pita niya lum yi snakum, the man left. So if I stick on the end, kaya feyu, and say, pita niya lum yi snakum kaya feyu, it means how did the man leave, but it means how in terms of manner. Um, the man left laughing, the man left hopping on one leg, whatever it might be. If I stick on the end of the sentence instead, kayaniya force, and say, pitianiya lumi snakum kayaniya force, this could also be translated into English as how did the man leave, but it means in terms of means. You know, the man left through the back door, the man escaped through the window, etc., etc. Now let's look at uh, where, where to, and where from. Um, let's begin with uh, where, so we're talking about position. Here's a statement, Pewayis kudasu nakum. Kudasu means by the tree. Um, so Pewayis refers to sitting, so Pewayis kudasu nakum, and the man sits by the tree. Um, I want to know where the man is sitting, so I don't know that he's sitting by the tree, I know he's sitting somewhere. So in the question um, where I want to ask that, um, I'm, I'm going to need kaya boa, which means where. And of course, the question will omit information about by the tree, because that's what I don't know. That's what the sentence is trying to uncover. So I'm going to say, piwai snakum kaya boa, which will translate as where is the man sitting? Where to? So let's look at a different statement now. Pitya tumi yis dasu na kum. So pitya tumi yis is a verb that refers to walking. Uh, dasu is tree, and uh, nakum is man, and this will translate as the man walks to the tree. Um, I want to know where the man is walking to. I don't know he's walking to the tree. So I'm going to use uh, where to, kaya niya boa, um, and I'm going to say pitya tumi yis na kum kaya niya boa. Where is the man walking to? So I've left out the word man in the translation down the bottom there. My apologies. And let's just change the orientation of the movement and talk about where he's walking from. Pitya tumi salum dasuna kum. The man is walking from the tree or walks from the tree. And again, I don't know that it's from the tree, so you're not going to see information about from the tree in the sentence, in the, in the uh, question. Um, and I'm going to have at the end of it, kayalumboa, uh, where from. And I'm going to say, pitya tumi isna kum kayalumboa. Where is the man walking from? Now let's look at which. Uh, so the equivalent in Latropeth is kaya yifam plus noun. Uh, this doesn't necessarily appear at the end of the sentence. It just appears the kaya yifam appears before whichever noun we're wanting to specify. So let's just exemplify it. So we've got a statement first. Pichani alum yisnakum, the man left. So we're revisiting that statement. Um, and I've stuck before nakum, I've stuck kaya yifam. So I'm going to say, Pita ni alum yis kaya yifam nakum. Um, and I now have a question, which means, which man left? And that's it, folks, uh, for this lesson. Um, so, yes, thanks for watching, and lesson six should not be far off. Thanks.